Leeds away is always going to be a spicy occasion, but after what happened in midweek with the crazy game at Old Trafford, two all, two goals at the start of both halves from United, ridiculous mistakes. Ten Hag will be demanding that this team do not repeat those same mistakes. So what does Ten Hag tweak and change from that start 11 from Wednesday to win this game at Ellen Road on Sunday? I'm going to run through the latest team news from Ten Hag that he gave in his press conference on Friday afternoon, then run through my predictions for the starting 11. And I do think there will be changes, and I'll explain exactly why. So if you are new here, make sure you do subscribe. We'd love to have you on board. Let's dive straight into this one. The team news from Ten Hag. He's confirmed that he does not expect, maybe that's not confirmed, he doesn't expect Anthony, Martial or McTominay to be fit for our games against Leeds on Sunday and then of course, for Barcelona on Thursday. That is not exactly a surprise with Martial, let's be honest. Uh, the McTominay one's weird. We've had no confirmation as to what this injury is, only for the fact that it's ruled him out completely. Anthony, I think that's a shame. Now, you might not think that Anthony's been good enough for United this year, but I think we, looked, we look a bit more balanced with him in the team. Sorry, I do think, I, I genuinely do feel that. He definitely has a good room to improve. But with Anthony out and Martial out and McTominay out, what does Eric Ten Hag do? We've got that. Mate, Barcelona's coming on Thursday. Whoa. Leeds away and then Barcelona away in the space of four days. That is a big, big week for Manchester United, for Eric Ten Hag. Now, I, in the context of the game uh, on, on Wednesday, it wasn't two points dropped because he came from 2-0 down. But Ten Hag was furious as to what happened. Very poor starts to each half. It's unacceptable to start any game like that, especially in a derby in the way we did. You are down and have to fight back. We made big mistakes and it has to do with attitude. Not ready to go in the duels. We lost the duels. And also he made a, an interesting point there that he said the formation was bad. And I think he, he didn't name names, but he said that somebody was out of position. He will not want the same mistakes made against Leeds on Sunday. This was the team that played against Leeds at Old Trafford. The low came in at right back. Sabitzer made his debut in midfield. Vekul started up front with Rashford on the right-hand side to begin with and Garnacho on the left. Let's run through each position and the different and the questions, I think. And I think the first question that Ten Hag has got is, what does he do at right back? Because, was it, I, I always forget the name of them. Is it Nonto? I think it was Nonto. I think the 19-year-old did it. He was easily Leeds' best player. Really, really dangerous. Delo coming back in his first game. Of course, he's going to be a little bit shaky. And I think the fact that he was playing Leeds' best player exacerbated that. But never did I think that I would see the day where I would genuinely do this. But I think we should probably be seeing the low drop into the bench and wan coming in for a little bit more defensive um, solidity. Let's try and nullify Leeds' best threat by bringing on probably the best one-on-one -on -one right back in the league. You can't really skip past wan -Bissaka. And at Ellen Road, first 15 minutes, we just have to make sure we do not concede. That's what you do in big, tough away games. You have to make sure you don't concede in the first 15 minutes. Rule number one. Now, in terms of the rest of the defence, I don't think we'll be seeing any changes. Why would we? Well, you could say, Sam, we could probably do with resting Varane ahead of um, Barcelona away. But then I would say, well, Martinez is going to be suspended. Martinez definitely starts this game. De Gea starts this game. And I think Luke Shaw starts this game. Now, of course, there's going to be questions everybody asks about midfield. <clears throat> and I don't really think Eric Ten Hag's got an answer. He's got a compromise, yes, but not an answer. When you've got Casemiro suspended, Eriksen out in the long term, Van der Beek out, McTominay out. The only two fit central midfielders we've got are Sabitzer and Fred. And I think both of them will start this game. Fred had an absolute stinker against Leeds at home. Not only from a defensive perspective, from a possession perspective, from an attacking perspective, it was a full, just a poor game from Fred. Everybody, everybody has poor games. It's weird with Fred though. He's either great or shit. <laughs> it kind of feels like there's rarely any in between with Fred. And yeah, we got the, the wrong end of the spectrum on Wednesday night. He's going to have to improve. Now, of course, there's going to be calls, I think, for uh, probably this, right? There's definitely going to be calls for this from some United fans. Get Fred on the bench. Bring Martinez in as the holding midfielder. Get Shaw as left centre-back and bring on Malasia at left-back. Let Martinez be that progressive defensive midfielder rather than Fred. 
And while I previously said that there was absolutely no chance of that happening, I think Eric Ten Hag has kind of drawn on it. Now, Lindelof is curiously, he's played there for 10 minutes at the, at the end of games, in, twice in the last three games, I think. I don't think Lindelof's going to start there. I actually think it's just going to be those two together. I think Eric Ten Hag will stick with what he's got, but I mean, he hasn't exactly got much of a choice. I'd also want to see a bit of an improved game from Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes, we all know full well. He is a man who is a very emotional footballer. Now, I don't mean he's going to just like burst into tears on the pitch, but plays with his heart on his sleeve. When a game, when the, when the crowd's getting into it, he can ride off that energy and also it can make him play a little bit too quickly. And United against Leeds on Wednesday were very much a transitional team. Didn't have any possession in midfield. What we have to do against Leeds, one big, big thing, is we have to try and retain the ball in this area of the pitch a little bit more. What we did too often was simply, let me just move that there, we took this ball and we were shifting it. We were kind of ignoring the midfield. We were shifting it down as soon as we could to Garnacho or Rashford on the wings. Losing possession, it was coming back way too fast. We need to keep the ball more here. That's going to be down to those three in midfield. And Sabitzer, I mean, it's talk about baptism of fire. It really, really is baptism of fire. I think he played okay, but I definitely think he's still got more on it. If only the shots on the edge of the box right could have dropped to him instead of Fred in the last 10 minutes of the game. I think he would have backed him to score one of them. Now, there's a really weird talking point that we've got to have now. And that's what I just consider absolutely wild criticism of Alejandro Garnacho, which Eric Ten Hag has spoken about in his press conference. He said, look, all the players have to be brave to try things if it's in the interest of the team. That is what he is doing quite well because he is taking players on. And he is outplaying them. He's creating chances. Now, I think the criticism was about the fact that the final product wasn't there from Garnacho. But he's not the fucking final product. He's 18. It staggers me. Staggers me that there are people that are criticising him for that. I honestly don't, do not even slightly get it. I think it's just outright weird. That being said. Actually, no. Anthony's definitely missing. I want you to let me know who you think should start up front. Because I think there are quite a few questions to be asked. And I think they all revolve around this man. Because I do not think that Val Vekos will start this game against Leeds. I've been I've, I've praised Vekos. I think he's had an impact on this team. I think he's had an impact in this team. I don't think Leeds at home suited him. I don't think Leeds away will suit him. I think we need to be getting a certain Jaden Sancho in from the start. Now, the curious thing here to ask is what formation do we play? Who plays where? Because... Technically, Rashford's best position, I would argue, is on the left-hand side. Are we going to see him play there? What about Garnacho? You could well see a bit of this, right? We've seen Sancho play in the number 10 role, right? I think what you're probably more likely to see, though, is this. I think Sunday is where we see Marcus Rashford starting as the striker. With Garnacho and Sancho swapping as the two wingers. Probably switching flanks every so often. Rashford got that header against Leeds. He is really showing himself to be more than just a left, in my opinion, more than just a left winger. More than somebody who can just cut inside and firing on his. He's looking, he's building his game out. He's building his frame out. He's building his game out. Great header that he scored against Leeds on Wednesday. And I think he starts up front. And I think that would be the correct decision. Now, that does leave United a little bit weak on the bench. We've got Pilistri there. We've got Vegkost if we need to come on and hold the game a little bit more. You could technically play Bruno as a false, pardon me, false nine. But I think we see that as a starting eleven. A back five there of De Gea, Shaw, Wan-Bissaka, Varane and Martinez. Midfield trio of Fred, Sabitzer and Bruno. Yes, it's the same as Leeds at home. Yes, it was a problem. No, we don't really have any alternative. And no, I'm not starting Lindelof in midfield. And I personally don't think we'll start Martinez there either. And up front, I'm going for a front three of Sancho, Rashford and Garnacho. We need the pace. We need the movement. That's what broke Leeds down. The the power and the hold-up play of, of Vekos didn't really help at all with our attack. Maybe in the last 15, 20 minutes, he will help in a different sort of way. But that will be my starting 11. What the hell is my prediction? I haven't really thought about this one. I, well, got it spectacular. We all got it spectacularly wrong, didn't we, on Wednesday? I think I went 4-0. I wanted us to humiliate them. Meh. I didn't really work out. I'm going to go for 3-2. I think it's going to be another wild game. 
can't see anything but I think that midfield will create what will, will will concede chances. I think Leeds will score. But United should have more. I'm going for a 3 2. I'm going for what was so close at Old Trafford. Turning that 2 0 into a 3 2 win. And I'm just going to go for a 3 2. So knows how it will play out. That's my prediction. Probably spectacularly wrong again. You can let me know what you think in the comments below. But that front three for me of Sancho, Rashford, and Garnacho, I think we'll see that. I think we'll see Sancho and Rashford, Sancho and Garnacho, sorry, swapping wings. And Rashford playing through the middle. You can let me know about everything in the comments below, as you always do. But football thick and fast leads away on Sunday. Barcelona away on Thursday. And new owners in G's. <laughs>